Okay. Over the course of my masters, my collaborators and I have been working on the notion of a natural minimum length. This is the idea that in nature, there may be a smallest fundamental unit of length beyond which smaller distances do not exist. Now, rather than delve into theoretical details, I'd like to tell you about work that we are doing to experimentally test this idea of minimum length and why this is particularly exciting. You see, the idea of a minimum length is an idea from quantum gravity. Its existence is motivated by principles from both quantum theory, which describes physics at very short microscopic scales, and from gravity, which describes physics at very large cosmic scales. The unification of quantum theory and gravity into a single theoretical framework is a long-standing problem in physics. And a major challenge for quantum gravity is that it is extremely difficult to do experiments to test it. You need, for instance, an accelerator that is 1,000 trillion times more powerful than the Large Hadron Collider in order to test quantum gravity effects. Directly, that is. This is why it is very exciting for me to tell you that we are working on an experimental test of this quantum gravity idea of a minimum length. The idea is to look for the signature that a minimum length would produce in the cosmic microwave background, or CMB for short. The CMB is the afterglow of the Big Bang. Now consider my slide for a moment. As you can see, the CMB is light that was produced shortly after the Big Bang. Since its production, it has been drawn out over the course of billions of years into microwaves that now permeate the universe and that we can detect here on Earth. The crucial point, however, is that the first few moments of the universe are imprinted in the CMB. Think of it like taking, say, a stick of dynamite, putting it into a bucket of paint, and then lighting the fuse. The cosmos, as we know it today, is the paint splattered everywhere on the wall. Yet, somewhere in the splatter, the shape of the bucket is encoded. <clears throat> now, like the exploding bucket of paint, our universe was extremely energetic during its first few moments. So energetic, in fact, that it is sensitive to quantum gravity effects, like a minimum length. So, using tools from quantum gravity, well, quantum theory and gravity, we can first determine the effect that a minimum length would have in early universe physics. Then we can translate this early universe effect into a signature in the CMB, which we can see in astronomical data that we have today. That we can look for quantum gravity in the cosmos is astounding. And I'd like to just conclude by noting that, well, the title of my presentation really isn't an exaggeration, and that the smallest of phenomena can have consequences that reach as far as the cosmos. Thank you. <laughs>